Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the Comet Capsule. Is this the best way to display and store your comic book collection? It very well may be. Now, full transparency, the Comet Capsule folks sent me this box. So, you can take everything I say with a grain of salt, but they did send me this for free. Now, with that all of the way, let's take a look in this box and take a look at this incredible product. Here is a close-up of the box. Now, I don't know if this is how every Comet Capsule package comes, but mine came this way in this beautiful quality box. And uh, some packing material here, just a little fun fetty. We got a, few, a couple Comet Capsules. And man, these things are nice. This is kind of the packaging. This is how they display. They're almost like in slab bags, uh, resealable bags, very nice. And our friends at the Comet Capsule hooked your boy up with a promo code. So if you spend $94, $94.90 or more, uh, you get free shipping. We'll show you the code here in just a minute. Let's take a closer look at these bad boys. These things are crystal clear. Quality material. These are UV res resistant cases, guys. So they flip back and you can fit a, a modern comic in these with the bag and board or just raw. You can fit a Silver Age book, a Bronze Age book. I have not tried Golden Age books, but all the measurements I'm going to show you guys here so you guys can, can determine if your Golden Age book fits in this. It, they've got a really nifty little uh, locking device here, and it, it, it snaps, but it doesn't, it, it's not like super, super difficult to open so you can get into your books easier. And like I was saying, um, if you buy a 10-pack, which is $94.90, uh, you get a free discount if you use my promo code here. I I don't think they're going to be sending me anything. I don't think I get anything for this. But hey, if you use my promo code, you get free uh, shipping. So that's pretty cool. So these things are $9.99 a pop. And also, you get these awesome labels that you can... They, they give you directions basically of how to make your labels and... Put these on the tops of your books so that you could put them theoretically in a short box. This is what these books look like inside these things. I mean, they are crystal clear, very, very comparable to a slab. Now, without the bag and board, they a modern size book does move around in here, which makes sense. If it allows room for all the way up to a Silver Age book, I mean, you're going to have a little bit of more room in there. So if you want to put them in a bag and board... And, and stick them in this, you can. Or if you want to put them raw in there, you can. This is what a Silver Age book looks like. Now, this barely moves, if if at all. So, I mean, the Silver Age book books fit very snugly in here. On the top of this thing, there's a little hole there. Um, they're they're mount ready. So you put a hole, you put a, a nail in your in your wall. You can hang these bad boys up. And this is what they look like side by side. And, and you can see, you can really make a nice display potentially with these. Now, the big argument it is, why can't I just use a top loader? Well, this is what a top loader looks like. One, you can't see the back of the book. Two, they're not secure on the top. Three, they're not as clear. This thing is significantly more clear. You're going through not only the bag and the board, but you're going through the top loader, which does not seem to be the same quality material. Now, the question is, how does it stack up next to a slab? And I'm holding it side by side here, and it looks identical. Same kind of quality, same kind of clarity. And this is what it would look like on your wall. Obviously, significantly smaller than the slab. Obviously, no grade. But you can get back into your books. This is the game changer. You don't have to encapsulate something and never open it, never look at the inside ever again. You can actually get back in there and look at your book. This is like a game changer for me. And you guys know that I've really kind of been adamant about regretting some of the books that I've slabbed because I couldn't get back into them. This is their website. Really clean website. These guys were prepared. They knew what they were doing. Their Kickstarter got backed. All of it was backed. I think it was 300% what they were trying to reach as far as is their money they were trying to raise. You can get a 60-pack for $540. Now, this <laughs> your probably initial reaction is, is this is pretty expensive. But if you compare this to a grading a book, if you grade a modern book, 
you're talking about how much is it now? Almost 30 bucks. And that's not including the shipping. And you're never getting inside that, that encapsulation again, unless you crack it and it's just over. They've got a neat little uh, video here showing exactly the things I talk about. And here's an example of that label. You know, if you put these, they're designed to be put into a short box and you can store them there. It's not only for display purposes, you can store these things and they're meant for that. They also are stackable. So they have these little grooves that if you wanted to put them, uh, if you were, if you're putting them um, standing up, they're not going to shift around, especially if you have them in there tight. So this is their Kickstarter page, uh, their, their backers. They've already had a, enough backers. Um, this is completely, the, the campaign has raised enough money. These guys are good to go. Um, and this is that video again. So the book slides down into the top. You kind of snap this little, it, it's not even like a snap. It's just like a flexible piece of plastic that you can depress and it kind of engages and it, it holds your book in there make your own custom labels. They show you how to do that. It's stackable. They go into the short box. They're made for that. So not a lot of backers, but people have bought a significant amount of these to get their pledge all the way up. Also, this is their Instagram. If you guys want to go over there and give them a follow, this is how they reached out to me uh, to promote their product. All right, guys. So that was the Comet Capsule. Th this is the real deal for Comet collectors. Now, this isn't for flippers. This isn't for guys that are trying to resell. This is for the guys that are trying to have their collection protected and display their collection if they want to with a nice wall display, a nice wall mount, put them on stands. This is kind of the way to go. Now, you take into account how much it costs for a grading for this encapsulation. You take into account how much it's, it's cost for me to get all these ECC frames to put these on the wall. I mean, you're talking about thousands of dollars saved if you go this route. Now, uh, it's up to you whether you think this looks better, that looks better, but this has a lot of benefits. You can get back into the books. Now, obviously, it doesn't come with that grade. It doesn't come with that certification, but that's not what you're buying this for. You're buying this to present your books in a way that's safe because you're getting the UV protection. You're doing it in a way that you can get back into the book and you're doing it in a way that it presents very, very well. As far as compared to the top loader, I, I'm not a huge fan of, the, fan of this. Now, I know a lot of you guys do this. You know, you get the Mylar bag, you put it in the top loader and that's that. I mean, the, the Mylar bag, you know, is the gold standard. I mean, that that is the best way to preserve your books. And as far as presenting wise, you can't hang this on the wall without some sort of frame. This has got the frame built in. I'm really impressed with this and I'm super glad the Comet Capsule sent me some of these. I've had a lot of people, you know, a lot of companies send me stuff and I'm just like, whatever. I can be legitimately excited about this because this is a legit awesome product. Let me know if you guys buy some of these. Let me know if you enjoy them. Let me know if you guys have heard of this or if you've been one of the backers. Let me know. If at any point in time you like this video, give the thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Also, if you do, use the promo code SICKYUSECOMICS if you want to buy some of these to get free shipping. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this and take care.